hello to all of you so in this session or in this lecture we start a new chapter that called distribution work here so in this chapter we learn how to distribute water or which type of structure which will used to distribute a water from dam to different types of location or pond clear so that called distribution box means the uh, the structure which connected to distributions of water from dam to farm that works or the structure called distribution box so how can you distribute water from dam to land so obviously by canal clear so in this session we discuss all the thing about canal how can you design how can you calculate which type of canal which shape of canal which are most beneficial clear so canal or that called artificial channel so what is the main purpose of canal to carry a water from river or dam otherwise we can say that canal or channel so there are three types of canal first one irrigation canal second one power canal third one navigation canal. So what is the irrigation canal? So a canal carries a water from dam to or reservoir to the agricultural field for irrigation. That called irrigation canal. Clear? So that canal which totally used for irrigation purpose. That called irrigation. Then second one, power canal. So what is the meaning of power canal? So the canal which are used to generate the power. That called power. and what is a navigation canal navigation canal means the canal which are used for navigation purpose or transformation or transport uh, transportation that call navigation so basically there are three types of canal then irrigation power and navigation the next one canal classification so how can you classify by canal so that first classification based on nature of source of supply there are two types of canal permanent canal and inundation canal then second classification based on the function that called feeder canal and carrier canal then third one based on discharge main branch major distributary minor distributary and last one like water course then fourth one based on financial output the productive and protective then based on canal alignment contour canal bridge canal side canal. and last classification based on the soil through which passes alluvial soil and non alluvial clear so this is a canal classification so first one based on source of supply permanent canal means continuous source of water supply means the water is continuous or also called parallel canals that inundation canal that canals draw its supplies from a river only high stages of the river means when the monsoon comes that inundation canal will be integrated no so inundation canal is a temporary for temporary structure and permanent canal is permanent or perennial canals this is a based on nature of sources of supply then based on function then there are two types feeder canal and carrier canal so what is the meaning of feeder canal feeder canal means feed clear feeder means feed to provide means the main canal provide to sub canal so the main canal called feeder canal means the narmada canal so narmada canal supply water to sub canal so the narmada canal that called feeder canal and carrier canal means the canal which carries the water clear on that called carrier canal so there are two types on based on or feeder canal and carrier canal then based on discharge and relative importance so again there are three five types main branch major distributary minor distributary and water course so as per the diagram so 
So first canal that called main canal, then sub part that branch, and again sub part that major, again sub part that minor, and last one what? Clear? So in branch canals, there are some conditions which is discharge greater than 30 meter cube per second, and for major distributary less than 30 meter cube per second, and for minor distributary less than 2.5 meter cube per second. Clear? So this is the conditions in different types of canal. In main canal, you can uh, do not directly supply water to farm here, but in this but in this uh, canal, the velocity which is very high and discharge is very large. And again, branch canal. So in branch canal is a sub part of main canal. So main canal water go to branch and from branch to major distributary. So in this section, we cannot directly supply water to farm. But in major distributary, minor distributary, and water source. So in these three types of channel, we can supply water to field or land. Clear? Then based on financial output, like there are two types: productive and productive. Productive means it generates something, means it yields at net revenue to the nation after the full development of irrigation in area. Like a Narmada canal, which is a productive canal. By the Narmada canal, many of the farmers generate revenue and they pay the tax to government. So that's called productive canal. And then second one, protective canal. Protective means that protect from famine, flood. So that type of canal, protective canal. Then based on canal alignment. So contour. Contour canal which is aligned nearly parallel to the contours of the river. Clear. So this type of canal which is parallel to the contour. Bridge canal means <coughs> aligned along the watershed. Means which is aligned along catchment area or watershed. Clear. Then third side slope canal. Which is aligned at right angles to the contour. That is called side slope. There are three types of canal based on canal alignment. Then that topic we will discuss in uh, deeply in next session. Clear? So these are the uh, classifications of canal, and this is the main thing which is used to distribute the water from dam to river. Clear? So this is a very important thing, and again. Uh, in some like in some subject there are separate subject for this like open channel flow. so in open channel flow you all uh, you study all the thing about canal this type of canal which type of canal used how to design a canal how to design a alluvial canal clear so this is the thing which is involved in distribution form clear thank you thank you for the Attention, bye-bye.